Welcome to the movie! This is as good as a movie can get, and it's so great that they're still making these kinds of movies. This is my theater now. Join me, Greg Turkington. Don't waste your money on a bad movie. Go watch On Cinema first to get the reviews you need. It's movie time on Tim Heidecker's On Cinema at the Cinema. Tim Heidecker's On Cinema at the Cinema. Hey everybody, welcome to the season finale of season eight of Oscar, uh, sorry, cinema, on cinema, season eight Oscar, uh, uh, on, at the cinema here in Victorville Film Center. My name is Tim Heidecker and I am the host and uh, I'm with my guest Greg Turkington. Hey guys, sorry this season <coughs> uh, hasn't gone as planned. I think it's going well, consider, all things considered. Uh, I want to apologize. If you were in this room, you'd probably smell it. But this, I've been wearing this shirt now for four weeks. It, mu it fused into my skin because of the fire. And some of the fabric and materials made in China uh, are, are, have become part of, part of my skin. Uh, so I'm wearing this shirt now. Well, the fire now. itself was made in Victorville by you. So you can't blame Why? China. But anyways, this is me now. Well, this is me now because my every stitch of clothing that I have was burnt to a crisp uh, when my archives were burned. So. The Magnificent Seven, starring Antonio, Fu uh, directed by Anton Fuqua, starring Chris Pratt, Hillary, Hel Haley, not hope, hopefully not Hillary, Haley Bellet Bennett, Denzel Washington. Uh, Matt Boner, Ethan Hawke, Ethan Hawk. seven gunmen in the Old West, who oh, is a Western, gradually, gradually come together to help a poor village against savage thieves. Uh, this is a, another remake of the Magnificent Seven, and uh, even the Magnificent Seven was a remake of another movie called The Magnificent Seven. And this is starring Chris Pratt and uh, Matt Boner and has uh, a good chance of being my favorite movie of all time right now. I saw it the other day and it has it uh, was a western with guns and Indians and uh, there was all, all kinds of stuff going on. I thought it was okay for me. Uh, I wouldn't recommend this for everybody, but I say five bags of popcorn. A lot of um, Also we have <coughs> a lot storks. of Hold on, I, w I was going to review the movie. Because people do want uh, some critical thinking applied to these movies, and I don't even know if you really saw The Magnificent Seven. I saw it. I want to see well, Storks. What theater did you see it in? Can we talk about Storks? Can we? I don't sure. want to. Five bags for The Magnificent Seven. I, I, Nick is. It, it is very good. He's right. It's very good. It's right for reasons that he didn't bring up because he didn't see it, but I did, and it is Storks, good. Storks, directed by Nicholas Stoller. Nicola, Douglas Sweet, Doug Sweetland, cast with Andy Sandberg, Keegan Michael, Michael Key, and Keegan, Michael Key, Keegan, Kelsey Grammer, one of my favorites, and Jordan Peele. Storks have moved on from b uh, delivering babies to packages, but What? But when an order for a baby appears, the best delivery stork must scramble to fix the error by delivering the baby. Sounds like the Tim Heidecker story. Mm. Well, I thought this was a cute movie. This was for kids of all ages, storks. And it was fun to hear Kelsey Grammer's voice. It was almost like you're watching the chip, uh, Cheers or... Uh, um, Frasier on... I used to watch the Frasier. What's up with Ayaka and the baby? Excuse me? What is up with your wife, Ayaka, and the baby? I haven't seen baby? her since that stupid waste of time intervention you had for me a couple weeks ago. That was Joe's idea. Okay, well, it was a big miss. That was three strikes, you're out. Goodbye, thanks for coming, but you are not up to my speed. <sighs> um, and it was worst episode of the show in our show history. 
Nobody wants to see people being treated like babies. We are self-reliant. I am legend. Uh, storks. Five bags. What did you think of Storks? I liked it. It's it's funny. It's a, I'll give it that. It is funny. Um, I'm going to give it five bags of popcorn and five Stork eggs. We are uh, excited to debut the new track from a group that we're working with right now called DKR. This is a new electronic music collaboration between myself and Axiom. And I want to debut this track for On Cinema. It's pretty exciting. I know people are wondering how am I going to bounce back, how am I going to rise from the ashes, literally, musically, uh, without the ability to play bass. Nobody's and wondering that. Yes, they are. I've been getting, you should have heard Kenny Chesney going on. He actually called Kenny me. Kenny Chesney doesn't want to listen to that. And I got wonderful messages of support. So uh, we are pleased to premiere the world premiere. You're getting of legal papers served on you constantly at this theater from the people who lost all their possessions in that fire. You're not getting messages of support from Kenny Chesney. Ladies and gentlemen, we are very excited to make the world premiere of the premiere song, that uh, new collaboration between myself and Axiom. It's a new group of electronic dance music uh, called DKR, and this is our brand new single. Uh, and I want, you, I, want, I want you, we don't have a title for it yet, we're just putting it out there, hoping it catches fire, which I, you know, no pun intended. But uh, we want to just see, get, get this music exposed and let's play the new track from DKR. This is DKR's new mu music revolution, EDM style. Check it out and uh, we'll see you guys next season. No, we're, we're supposed to show oh, the, the last episode of On Cinema at the cinema on location, and then you can play that music. Well, over let's the play end, the music. The can we credits. play the music first? Let's play the music well, now. Play it last because people want new information. Hold on. Quiet. Hold on. Drops, and then the drums come back in hard. Empty, 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 empty bottle, empty bottle, empty bottle, empty bottle, empty, 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 empty bottle, empty bottle. That's not going to be a hit. All right, you can check out that whole song on the Dakar website, which is going to also be we're going to put together a DKR site as well. So that's a bit. It's a sampling of the new. DKR song, which is going to rave up, you're going to catch fire all over the clubs. And starting next week, if you're in Victorville, come on down to the Victorville Film Center because Saturday nights at nine o'clock, we start things right by having no, we're going to have music, he's wrong. and we're going to have uh, some stand-up comedy, and we're going to no. actually have sketch comedy we have and movies. EDM music all night long till midnight. And we're gonna have an open bar. And it's movies on Friday and Saturday night, seven o'clock. And now let's check out this it's not, on cinema. There's no on concert on Saturday night here. Yes, there will be starting next week. No, there will on cinema at location from you. Victorville, California. Every street has a story, and these are but just a few on on cinema on location. Hey guys, and welcome to Victorville. Behind me are some of Victorville's beautiful mountains where It Came From Outer Space was filmed, but we have a special report today on this episode of On Cinema at the Cinema On Location. It is the writing location, not the filming location, but behind me is the ranch at which was written the all-time classic Citizen Kane. Yes, Virginia, there is a Citizen Kane, and he was born right here in Victorville. You can see beneath me the actual ranch where Citizen Kane was written. This is history. Now Victorville is home to the Victorville, home of the Victorville Film Archives.
of which we have several copies of Citizen Kane. Back to you, Tim. See you next, uh, uh, see you next season. Having twins? No, Juliana's What's wrong with you?